Hello YouTube and welcome to another Windows tutorial. So in this video I will show you how to install Docker Compose in Windows Server 2019. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you have seen on my last video, I showed you how to install Docker. Okay, but in this video I will show you how to install Docker Compose. So Docker Compose actually will allow us to run multiple containers, okay? So first thing first, we have to check that your system is up to date. So you go to your search here, bar, and type update. And go to your Windows update settings. So here you can see that the system is up to date, so no problem with that. So in order to install Docker Compose, I have to open actually a PowerShell but with admin privileges so you can just go here and run you know PowerShell as an administrator here we go okay so now first of all let's check actually the docker version that we are using so we'll use docker version here we go. So here we are using the client and server which have the same version which is 20.10.9 okay but for us we're gonna actually install docker compose so the first things as you know github now uses the TLS 1.2 version so we have to enable that in our system so in order to enable that we use this command here here we go so all the commands you will get them in the actually description of this video so the first command here allows us to enable as you can see here TLS version 1.0 because we'll be downloading now docker compose from the github which uses TLS 1.2 okay So in order to download actually uh, Docker Compose from GitHub, we use this long command here, okay? And here, as you can see, we are downloading Docker Compose version 1.29.2, but you can use whatever version you want. So here we will wait for the system to download this version from the GitHub repository, okay? And after that, we'll check, of course, the Docker version number to check if we downloaded the right version. Here we go. Now, I guess the Docker Compose has been installed. So we can check our version number. So we can use the command docker compose this time. Let me write this docker compose and version here. And indeed, as you can see here in the dashboard on the command line, we are using docker compose version 1.29.2. Okay. So as you may know, with Docker Compose, we are using actually a YAML file. So inside that YAML file, we specify the multiple services or containers that we want to run. So let me just go here to the my root, so the C, and I will create actually uh, a file, okay? So let's open here Notepad for example, here we go, and we will create in our C drive YAML file. So the first command, as you may know, is the version, and here you specify the version of the YAML file you want to, that you want to use. So I will be using here uh, version uh, 3 that uh, actually three 
ok, esto es 3.3 here we go and after that we have to specify the different uh, services that we want to run so with this command here services and I'm gonna actually name my first service for example web server okay and the image that I, I'm gonna use is this one so it's Microsoft Microsoft Windows Server Core okay and I'm gonna use the tag 1709 okay so this is our YAML file so the last thing we have to check or actually to save this file in the C drive but here you have to choose all files in order to save it with the extension YAML so I will go to my C drive here here we go in the root directory and I will name it docker compose dot yaml here we go here I get actually let me check if it's in this directory here no so I guess I save it in another directory let me see user I mean uh, okay so it's here it's in this directory here user I mean uh, so I have to go to this directory change directory to users I mean uh, here we go so now as you can see this is my yaml file okay docker dash compose that yaml file so let's try now to run it using the docker compose that we have actually installed so i will use here docker compose and of course with up command so in order to execute this file so make sure that you are in the same directory where your docker compose.yaml file resides and I will hit enter so here we have something we have actually an error in line 3 so let me check once again we have an error in our file in line 3 so let me open that with our notepad file so let's just use space here instead of tab okay and save it once again here we go let's save it let's now try to use the same command here we go so now you can see that we are in fact executing our docker compose file so here I have to answer yes in order to pull the image from the docker hub so here you can see that the repository does not exist on my required docker login oh I guess I found out the problem actually I mistyped here it's not Microsoft slash Windows Core but 
it's mcr.microsoft.com because so now let's try our old version which is 18.09 and let's save this file here here we go I hope this time it will work here we go so you can see that I have actually miss typed the repository where the image exists so now you can see that I actually succeeded to uh, execute our docker compose yaml file and docker compose is actually working in our system okay so here you can see the different layers that has been downloaded for our docker compose so they are quite big one that's 71 gigabyte and the other one 997 megabytes okay so that was just a brief introduction how you can install docker compose in windows 2019 as always i hope it has been informative for you and i want to thank you for viewing bye bye